Right now, we're going to be talking about dishwashers, particularly how to maintain them and how to clean them. And it's really not hard to do, but a lot of people oversee this and eventually they might just say, hey, my dishwasher is not working well. I got to go get a new one. But don't do that. Go in there, follow along for the steps to uh, go ahead and clean it and make sure everything is working properly. So let's see what we could get ourselves into and let's begin. All right, so first thing I like to do is just take down the bottom rack, take it completely out, get it out of the way, and that way we can get it in here and not have to worry about working around it. So the filter on the bottom, as you can see, is pretty grimy and dirty. It catches all of the dirt, grime, extra food in here before it actually goes into the drain, which is good, but it gets clogged up and it gets pretty disgusting. So this is what we're gonna clean. We're actually gonna take the catch, great out as well and we're gonna clean that and then we're gonna get in here and we're gonna loosen everything up and then clean that before we go ahead with the vinegar and the baking soda so we could get a hot cycle ran and then clean out the actual drain line so let's go ahead and do this all right so what I'm doing now is I got a some soapy water hot soapy water in a bucket and I'm gonna use a little brush like this. And we're just gonna go over and I'm not gonna go crazy, just enough just to get that little extra grit and grime off of your dishwasher corners. Sometimes some people would say you could go ahead and use a, a toothbrush, other times you could use just a small brush. Sometimes you just wipe it out with some paper towel. It's whatever your comfort level is. So next thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and sprinkle some baking powder around just the bottom area. We'll do a little bit more later on, but this is just a, a pre-wash, pre-soak. And then I like to take just white vinegar. I like to just pour it all around the bottom. And that's going to do is also foam up and help break up any of those little smaller pieces that I was able to uh, grab when I was doing the actual brush and dislodge it. So it's just going to foam, it's going to sizzle, it's going to work some magic and then break up some of that stuff. And we're going to leave that sit now for about five minutes. I don't know if you could see this or not, but it is bubbling there, which is loosening up all that uh, crud, grime, buildup, calcium, lime, you name it, whatever was in that bottom, that vinegar and baking soda are working together to break everything up. All right, so at this part, I like to take the filter, which is what we have right here, and the grate, which is what we have right here. I add some soap to hot water. And what you're going to want to do is completely submerge these two items underwater and leave it there for about 10 minutes. This is going to help break everything up and make cleaning a lot easier. Next thing I like to do is boil some hot water. This allows me to then flush out the system on the bottom of the dishwasher with the mixture of vinegar and baking soda. And then pouring that hot water in there is going to allow it to push all that drain pipe because if your dishwasher is that dirty here the drain pipe is going to be completely dirty so you're going to want to get that cleaned out and what my drain pipe looks like right now it's black it's supposed to be clear but it's black now that the whole drain pipe is black just probably about three feet of it where they loop through and it goes into my garbage disposal it's been about 10 minutes or so that this stuff has been sitting here in the water we're gonna go ahead 
and then grab yourself a brush and just start working it clean. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes of having the vinegar and the baking so soda mixture settle, and it looks like the bubbles are starting to slow down. So I'm gonna take the water that I previously boiled on the stove, and we're just gonna slowly drop it in there. All over. There's just so much stuff coming out. All right. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to close this up and we're going to actually put it on a rinse only currently right now. And what that's going to do is just clear out the bottom of the drain. So that way all the water then gets pushed over through the hose and then clean out the hose. All right, now that it's actually cleared out, the next thing I like to do is I like to sprinkle. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. My baking powder, baking soda, all the way around. And then, I'm gonna put this back, like this. I'm going to put about a half a cup. Everywhere. And then I'm going to run it through a, an extreme hot cycle. result it's squeaky clean smells clean looks clean looks brand new I think we did a good job there so remember the power of baking soda and white vinegar with a little bit of elbow grease a little bit of uh, hot water and soap and get your dishwasher back to new. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, like and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications so you could get the latest content that I'm gonna put out there. Until then, stay handy my friends. I'll see you guys later.